the show, New Indie, Local and Live. My name is David Kemick. On tonight's episode, we've got the Outlets Band backstage. We got an interview. Unfortunately, due to file corruption, we lost their live track, but we're still going to bring out their interview for you. So without any further ado, this is the Outlets Band backstage at the Blind Beggar Pub. We're Outlets Band. My name's Ty, I'm the drummer. I'm Chris, I sing and play guitar. Ashton, bass guitar. Me and Chris, obviously, we went to school together, and I think Ashton... A friend of a friend thing, yeah, when we lost yeah. our previous bass player, we were looking for one, and Ashton's name kept getting thrown around, so I just gave him, a, gave him a call, and he showed up at practice one day, and he fit, so... We're all over the place with what we like. I mean, I think we all have a common ground that we like good musicianship. I think the genres can differ at times. I listen to a lot of blues and a lot of uh, classic rock and stuff like that. I listen to country, blues, rock, like I'm kind of all over the board. You kind of like the 80s yeah. style. Yeah, he does yeah. like he does yeah. like his, yeah. his hair rock sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, and that's that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. We love to have all those different influences, and I think it, yeah. it kind of molds us really. Honestly. We all do what we do respectively. Or I'll have. The, the lyrics and a melody, and then I'll bring it to band, and then Ty will lay down the drums, and then Ashton will lay down the bass track. And then we kind of mold the yeah. song from there. We'll add a verse, we'll yeah. add a, a pre-chorus, we'll add, you know, so that always kind of changes and molds itself. It's along the lines of, of a product yeah, when we bring it to band, and then it's just working on it and, and adding and making it sound like us. I never want it to be a niche band. I never want someone to be like, hey, I'm gonna go see this rock band, or I'm gonna go see this country band, or I'll go on stance where I'll write stuff that's completely different from the album we wrote before. I pride myself in that and I like that. We have people who like our band from all walks of, of, of musical taste. Hair metal guys who come and, and like to hear us play. A bunch of people who love to hear us play. Folk artists who like to stand out by being good players and good writers above all else. We just love writing music. We love the, the process of that. And when it comes to the Calgary music scene, I think it can be it can be really great or it can be really bad. It's good when the, when the bands come together and they support each other because we have a lot of great talent in the city and a lot of great original talent and I don't know a lot of people know that. But when a place, you know, takes the time and they promote it and they get the good original acts into a space and they play, people realize how good it can be and they love it. The downside of that is a lot of venues don't want to do that. They, they, they want the DJs, they want the cover bands, they want the easy money. If you can manage to get people in the door, you can get people to come back. The bands are good, the entertainment is good. I think we're on the way and that's why I'm not worried about it and you know why I keep doing what I do and why I'm still in the city and I love it here. It's because the talent's here and uh, it, it can happen. We just gotta, we gotta push for it. Yeah. We gotta want it. I think the future is, is pretty right for us and start pushing out of town going on tour we just recorded a single it's called airwaves that was kind of inspired by actually, kind of what we were just talking about there the whole uh, the whole uh music scene and how it can feel yeah. to be a to be an original band in a scene it's actually a little tie-in nice, <laughs> nice fitting um, planned planned as a band uh we're i think we're very serious i think we want to make this into a career what our, our mission is to be is to get our, our music and our soul out to people and i think that's that's important to us that's what music is really about all right so you guys just got to meet the outlets band unfortunately you guys didn't get to see them live but they are a local calgary band so make sure you get out into the scene check them out they're going to be playing someplace in calgary i'm going to throw their links into the description box so that you guys can find them make sure you guys get a chance get out there see them live they're a great band, a great local Calgary band. I'll put the links to the Blind Beggar Pub as well so that you can check out the events that go on there. Live music, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sunday at the OMS until May 1st. Uh, check out their website so that you can see who's playing. Make sure you go and check out the Outlets Band live. These guys are great. Thanks again for joining New Indie. We'll see you next time.